Southern California's Emmy Award-winning game show, where schools match skills and wits. Kid Quiz. And here, to introduce today's participating schools, is your host, McClovio Perez. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and welcome to Kid Quiz. This is the last uh, of our preliminary games. In fact, uh, from now on, after this school is over with, after this game is over with, the games will be much tougher because we're going to the elimination rounds. But we welcome our first two teams who brought very big cheering squads for themselves. From City of Cerritos, we have Gonzalez Elementary School, and we have team captain Jason Lim. Jason, welcome aboard and introduce us to your first round players. To my right is Niru Jayarama, and to my left is Dorian Love. All right, Niru and Dorian. And from Los Angeles, we have 32nd Street Magnet School with team captain Randall Graham. Welcome. To my right is April Sanifer, and to my left is Zachary Bell. Absolutely. <laughs> Hi, Randall. How are you doing? Fine. Good, good, good. All right. Before we start our game, I want to ask Jack, our announcer, to tell us about the prizes that the winning school will win at the end of this season of Kid Quiz. Jack? This year, our second place school will receive Merriam-Webster's new International Unabridged Dictionary with a beautiful hardwood table. Panasonic's Easy Programming Barcode VCR. The forehead unit lets you set time, date, and channel with the use of a barcode scanner from Panasonic. The winning school will receive the superbly illustrated 22-volume New Book of Knowledge Encyclopedia. Accurate and up-to-date information from Growlier. The Macintosh Personal Computer from Apple Computer. Macintosh, a computer that provides the power to be your best. The winning school will also take home this 1990 Spring Championship Trophy. Absolutely. Now, before we start the game, I want to remind players to put your hands flat on the white palette. No creepy crawlies. Everybody goes flat. One hand, both hands, or three hands. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, and go for the buzzer if you think you have the answer. Our, our offstage judge is Dr. Dan Lawson. We welcome him. We're very proud of him. He just won the 1990 Kennedy Center School Administrator Award for a very strong arts education program at his school, Ambler Elementary in the city of Carson. There he is. Nice hand for the judge. If you are correct, team players, you hear one of these. If you are incorrect, you hear one of those. Uh, if you're wrong, the other team gets to hear the question and answer the one you just sort of missed there. So if you're ready, I'm ready for 10 points. Here we go. First question. What sport do the Lakers and Clippers play? Jason. Basketball. Basketball is right. In what year did Christopher Columbus discover America? Jason. 1492. 1492. There are four types of sentences. Imperative is one of them. Give me another. Jason. Declarative. A declarative is correct for... What is a more common term for an animal that is an equine? A horse. A horse or a donkey or a mule. It's part of the family. Next one is musical. Let's listen in and I'll ask you the question. Where might you hear this music? Jason. Baseball stadium. At a baseball stadium. Okay. Ten points. What city in Israel is considered the oldest city in the world? Niru. Jerusalem? Jerusalem for 10. This is a tough one here. In the rhyme, one, two, buckle my shoe, what comes after three, four? Jason. Open the door. Open the door. The April's a little upset. She knew that one. Ah, uh, shut the door. Thank you. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Do we go to the next one? Or do we... All right. We move on to the next question. Incorrect. Um, here we go. What form of radiant energy is visible? Jason. Light. Light is correct. 
Next one. This circumference describes what distance? Jason? Circle. Acceptable. The distance around the circle. Is that correct, Judge? That is correct. Nice hands. For ten points. If a president serves one term, how many years? Randall. Four. Four years is correct for a ten point. Ichi, ni, san are the numbers one, two, three in what language? Jason. Chinese. Incorrect. Thirty seconds. Ichi, ni, san are the numbers one, two, three in which language? Give it a shot. Japanese. Japanese. All right. Next, for 10 points. Although Christopher Columbus was from Italy, his explorations for, were for which country? Nero. Spain. Spain is correct for 10. Next one. Ooh, we don't have time for that. We move to the 20-point video questions. Team players, watch your monitors. You at home, watch a TV set. I'll show you the video, wait three seconds, and then ask you the question. You can anticipate my question, but you can win or lose depending on how the question was written. First video is before you. He's considered one of the great artistic giants of the 20th century. Who is he? Zachary. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin for 20. Next one's video for 20. Watch your monitor. In this sentence, Mike is taller than Lisa. Which is the adjective? Zachary. Taller. Taller is correct for 20. Next one for 20. Watch your monitors. The question is, what is the scientific name of the changing process that makes a tadpole into a frog? Randall. Metamorphosis. Is correct for 20 points. Metamorphosis. Very good. Next one is mathematical. Watch. Give me the missing number. Jason. Three. Three is correct. Two thirds is correct. Very good. A nice hand for him. Next is for 20 points. Let's Bitten watch the dog. Mark. The first thing we do is quarantine the dog. He is the sheriff of Los Angeles. What is his name? Time's up. Sheriff Sherman Block. Sherman Block. All right, we move along. 420, here's the next video. Name the planet in our solar system that was named after the Roman god of water and sea. Dorian. Pluto? Incorrect. 32nd Street, Randall. Neptune. Neptune is correct for 20. Okay. For 20 points, here's the next video question. In what country would you visit? Nehru. India. India. <laughs> you would be visiting the Taj Mahal, right? <laughs> In India. For 20 points, here's the next video question. Round this to the nearest thousand. Jason. 7,000. 7,000 is correct for 20. <laughs> next one is from American history in 19. Here it is. In 1955, in Montgomery, Alabama, she refused to give up her seat. Randall. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is correct. She refused to give up her seat uh, on a segregated, segregated bus to a white passenger and thus began the um, civil rights era. All right, for 20 points, here's the next video question. James and the Giant Peach was written by who? Hero. Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl is correct. <laughs> I read that book. <laughs> for 20 points. Ask not. What your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. He was our 35th president. Randall. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy for 20. For video, geography, 20 points. 
What major river runs? Jason. Mississippi River. The Mississippi, 420. <laughs> Next one is from biology, but we don't have time for that. We'd move on to the final, uh, for rather the first bonus question worth a lot of points. We have our score now, 130 for 30 second and 180 for Gonzalez. Bonus questions worth 50 points on the first clue, 30 points on the second clue, and 20 points on the third clue. Only team captains may buzz in. Team players, put your hands to the side. You can answer at any clue level that you like, but if you're incorrect, you're out of the round, and the other team gets to answer at whatever clue level they desire. For 50 points, the first clue is, in the U.S., this is the driest of all the states. Can you name it? Randall. Arizona. Arizona is incorrect. Gonzalez, would you like the second clue? Next clue. The next clue, partly shared with another state. It has the largest man-made lake by volume in the United States. Name this U.S. state. Third clue. Major cities are Reno, Carson City, and Las Vegas. Jason. Nevada. Nevada is correct. So, 20 points. We'll be back with the second half of our game after this message. Don't go too far away. Kid Quiz will be back. a bit on my dental philosophy. That's philosophy with an F. You see, brushing your teeth simply is not enough. Black, <clears throat> the rascal that causes dental disease, lurks everywhere along your gum line, including hard-to-get places your toothbrush can't reach. But even hard-to-get plaque can't hide from dental floss. Just watch. Gently slide floss between the gum line and the surface of each tooth. Then, forming a C, gently scrape the floss up and down adjacent to surfaces. By George, no more plaque. Hmm. Teach plaque a lesson in dental philosophy. Use a toothbrush and floss. This has been a public service message brought to you by the California Dental Association. Casey! The safety car. Hey kids, it's really important that you know how to spell your last name, know your home address, and your telephone number. Give your name and numbers to a police officer or adult you know if you need help, or have to call the 911 emergency telephone number. The Kid Quiz is back. We are back. A uh, very nice game going here. Uh, last uh, bonus question was answered by Gonzalez, but now we move to uh, the second round, and we want to thank our first round players for joining us. How about a nice big hand for them? And ask them to please take their seats. Before we begin the second round, I want to show you all the schools participating in this season of Kid Quiz. There are 16 of them. From there, we eliminate down to eight, and then to four, and then down to eventually a championship. Uh, this is the last of the preliminary rounds, so one of these schools will move on to the quarterfinals. There you see the schools that have survived the first round, and down at the bottom, we'll determine today if Gonzalez, our 32nd, moves to the next round of elimination. So... We go back to Jason from Gonzalez, city of Cerritos, to introduce us to our second round players. To my right is Adam Glover, and to my left is William On. Adam and William. All right. And we go back to 32nd Street. Uh, Randall, please introduce us to your second round player. To my right is Yasmin Santiago, and to my left is Kelly Thompson. All right, Kelly and Yasmin. 
Very good. Reminding the team players, hands flat in the white palette, go for the buzzer, and don't call, don't answer until I call your name. Oh, we did brackets, didn't we? I thought we did brackets. <laughs> all right, we move along. We showed the brackets of all the schools participating, right? You know that, I know that. Our first question, in conjunction with Channel 2's year-long campaign to protect our planet, we begin with this special question. A multiple choice. How much trash does an average family of four generate in a year? Is it 500, 1,000, or 2,000 pounds? William takes a guess. 2,000. You're right for 10 points. That's a lot of trash. <laughs> All right, we move along for 10 points, the audio round of the game. What is California's state flower? William. California poppy. The poppy is correct. Specifically, the golden poppy, and poppy is acceptable to the judge. For 10 points, next question. A year has 12 months. How many years are there in 36 months? William. Three. Three years is correct. <laughs> to, to adults, it would be the life of a car loan, you know. <laughs> Three, 36 months. For 10 points, in California, what baseball stadium was once referred to as Chavez Ravine? I didn't know about him. Uh, Chavez Ravine is the area of Los Angeles where they built Dodger Stadium. And Dodger Stadium is sometimes referred to as Chavez Ravine. By the sportscasters, I know I heard them. <laughs> Ten points. In what country is the man-made waterway that links the Atlantic and the Pacific? Adam. Panama. Panama. The Panama Canal. <laughs> Musical question. Let's listen, and then I'll ask you the question. Mariachi music originates from what country? Yasmin. Mexico. Mexico is correct. <laughs> Next one is multiple choice. I'll give you three choices. From current affairs, Israel has recently acquired a large number of immigrants from what other country? Is it Mexico, France, or Russia? Jason. France. Incorrect on that. 30 seconds. You want to take a guess at it? Randall. Russia. Russia for 10 points. That's because uh, Mr. Gorbachev has allowed people to now leave the country if they desire, and so there many are going to Israel. For 10 points, here's the next question. The chemical formula H2O refers to what kind? Jason. Water. Water is correct. What kind of matter, H2O? For 10 points, if you are asked for your John Hancock, what do they really... William. Signature. Your signature is what they want. <laughs> for 10 points, the quotient is the answer to what kind of math problem? Jason. Division. Division is the right question. In 1964... What international prize did Martin Luther King receive? William. Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Peace Prize for 10. <laughs> this one's two parts. Two parts. I'll require two answers. Spell and use the word colorful. Jason was first. Colorful. C-O-L-O-R-F-U-L. -L -L. My shirt was very colorful. All right. It's red. <laughs> Or 10. Well, that's the end of the video audio round. Now the final video question six series here. We are looking for video questions worth 20 points. Watch your monitors at home. Team players, watch your monitors. I'll show you the video. Wait three seconds. You can anticipate my question, but you can win or lose depending on how the question's written. First video for 20 points is before you. Mom say when you brought him up here. Oh, she didn't say a word. Haven't read the question, Adam. Leave it to Beaver. Leave it to Beaver from the 60s. <laughs> 20 points. Here's the next one. Haven't read the question, William. Mona Lisa. It's correct for 20 points. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci was the artist of that famous painting, the Mona Lisa. For 20 points. Here's the next video question. 
What holiday celebrates William? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is correct. <laughs> the victory of the Mexicans over the French at the Battle of Puebla, Cinco de Mayo. For 20 points, next video couple. <laughs> Haven't read it, Yasmin. Princess Di and Prince Charles. Princess Di and Prince Charles, that's correct. You don't want to call him Princess Charles. You don't want to do that. That's what I did. Next, for 20 points, watch your monitors. Haven't read it. Babe Ruth. Randall, Babe Ruth is correct for 20 points. First baseball player to hit its 60 home runs in one season. For 20 points, here's the next video. Watch, math. What math sign? William. Divide. Divide, Divide is correct for 20. 20 points, video question. Watch your monitors. <laughs> Haven't read it. William. Rhinoceros. The rhino is correct for 20 points. Fierce looking animals, but they roam free in Africa and Asia. From literature. Which? Yasmin. Mark Twain. Incorrect. Gonzalez. Which writer gave us the stories The Raven and the Telltale Heart? Anyone at Gonzalez? Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. The Raven quotes The Raven Nevermore or something like that. 20 point video questions before you are. <laughs> Haven't read the question, Kelly? Paul Abdul. I think so. <laughs> You know, that, that was on for microseconds, you know. I mean, that was fast. For 20 points, watch. Looking at the globe, what are the imaginary lines that run vertically? Meridians. Adam, meridians is accepted by the judge. <laughs> Longitudes or meridians. Wait till I call your name before your answer. Next video question is before you. The Tower Bridge of London crosses over what major river? William. The Thames. The Thames is accepted by the judge. <laughs> if you look at it written, it looks like Thames, but it's the Thames. It's all right, judge accepted that. For 10 points, next one is for 20 points. It's a video question. This formula is used to find the area of which geometric shape? William. A circle. A circle. <laughs> Otherwise known as the area equals pi times the radius squared. You knew that. Today, the National Executive Board of the United Farm Workers. This union labor leader has worked to improve Hispanic farm worker conditions for 30 years. What is his name? Yasmin. Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez, 420 is correct. <laughs> Next video question is before you watch. Solidarity helped win the independence of this country represented by this flag. What country? Yasmin. Poland. Poland is correct for a <laughs> Next. Ooh. <laughs> That's the end of the video round. Now the final bonus question. First clue is worth 70 points. Uh, we'll see what, who goes for it here. Second clue is worth 50, and the third clue is worth 30. You can answer at any clue level that you like, but if you're incorrect, you're out of the round. Team players, put your hands to the side. Team captains may only buzz in. You may confer with your team players before you answer. For 70 points, this European country is one of the most advanced industrial countries in the world, and you name the country. Next clue, now worth 50 points. For over a century, the people in this country have been required by law to attend school, and you name this country. <laughs> the three largest cities in this country are Malmo, Gothenburg, and Stockholm. Name this European country. Jason. Germany? Incorrect. 32nd, you get a shot at it. Name the country. Randall. Um, France. Stockholm is in Sweden. We'll come back with the conclusion of our game after this message. Don't go away. Kid Quiz will be back.
message from your Shriners Hospitals. This bathroom could be the most dangerous room in the house. A lot of kids are seriously burned by scalding hot water in bathtubs. Small kids should never, ever take a bath without a grown-up watching them closely. First of all, run cold water into the tub. Then add hot water to warm it up. Kids always want to play with the faucets. And hot water on their tender skins can scald. Hot water can burn in less than three seconds. McGruff here. I want you to learn a song that tells people to say no to drugs. Users and losers and losers and users. I don't use drugs. Don't use drugs. Come on. If you know a user even part of the time, tell them to quit, take a bite out of crime. Users and losers and losers are users. So don't use drugs. Don't use drugs. Now, teach it to everybody and help take a bite out of crime. Cause if you want to do a job, there's a very simple rule. You gotta get an education, gotta go to school. You gotta get it all together if you want to make it pay. Gotta stay in school. Congratulations, Dave. So be cool. Stay in school. Be cool. Stay in school. If you want to be cool, stay in school. Woo! Kid Quiz is back. We're back with the conclusion of our game. Uh, we now know that Stockholm is in Sweden, and that was a bonus question that nobody got. Uh, we want to thank 32nd Street School and uh, hope that you'll say hello to all our friends at your school. Will you do that for me? Okay, good. And a nice hand for 32nd. But we congratulate Gonzalez, which moves on to the elimination rounds. We'll be seeing them later on in our season. So you join us again for Kid Quiz, all right? See you then. from an American tale because Universal Studios has just brought the movie you love to life. You can see the world through Fievel's eyes as you slide, jump, and climb your way through magical sets and giant props. Then, sing and dance with Fievel and all of his friends in his one-of-a-kind live stage show. The new American Tale Show and Fievel's Playland only at Universal Studios Hollywood. And please, no cats allowed. Millions of years ago, giant creatures spent most of their time fighting. Maybe they would have gotten along better if they had just looked a little better. Now they look great. Introducing the new beach creatures. These five creatures don't roam the earth, but they're real easy to find. They're at Carl's Jr. And there's one inside every Carl's Jr. Happy Star meal. While toys last. The Happy Star meal, only at Carl's Jr. It's the coolest thing in the last million years. Kid Space Museum is a very special place, just for children. At Kid Space, all the exhibits are meant to be experienced, so children can learn and...